Hey guys, this is Hell Hades, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today I'd like to do a in-depth tutorial on the Great Hall. Um, I've seen bits and pieces around the Great Hall probably over the last, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. And I think there's some good advice around the Great Hall, but I don't think there's really a video out there that I've seen that really tells you why you should do the things that you're doing. Um, so what I want to do is just kind of take it through from really beginner level right through to a you know, more experienced player um, and yeah, just offer some tips. So let's get going. So if I start real kind of basic level here, um, there are some little information tabs within these different areas of the game. I don't know if they're actually that easy to find as a beginner. I don't know if they're that clear as a beginner. So I'll start here. I mean, basically, it unlocks at level six. That's pretty obvious. And what you can do is you can improve the stats of your champions from HP, attack, defense, crit damage, resist, and accuracy across each of the different affinities of the game. So when you're starting out, this will be a completely blank board with no upgrades. Um, and then as you develop through the game by fighting in the arena, you'll gain tokens, and those tokens you can turn in to different upgrades on these different areas. So right now I have got all, this is actually meant to be a silver color, I've got all silver and gold levels, which means that um, I basically need to farm up gold medals in the gold tier of the arena to be able to upgrade any of these. So I've got 594 gold medals right now. If I click onto any of these different uh, screens, I click on one that I can't upgrade yet. I click upgrade and what it tells me is how many medals I need to make the next upgrade. Um, so if I was to go onto this one here, attack, I actually do have enough medals to upgrade that attack to the next level. I won't do that because that's not what I want to do. Um, so that's just kind of first basic. The next thing which it is worth mentioning, um, so if you see, let me just come back into this. If you see here this information tab, I did not realize this until I don't know, maybe I was two months into the game, or maybe not as long as that, but it was at least a month into the game. I did not realize that these bonuses here affect every part of the game. Anything you put into this, these uh, abilities here affect every part of the game. So as you uh, gain ranks in the arena, see these percentages here, Basically, your champions start to grow by these percentages in all these different areas. So anyone who's kind of sitting there at the moment, perhaps sitting mid-silver and not putting any effort into the arena at all, um, you're pretty much losing out on 12% HP, attack and defense for every one of your champions. Um, so that means in clan boss, you're doing less damage and you're dying quicker. It means in arena, you're less likely to win. It means in campaign, it's harder to farm. Uh, etc. You know, if, if you're in Spider, it's more difficult to do the Spider event. So every part of the game gets improved if you get yourself up to this top tier or further along the tier rankings. Now, at the moment, I think the arena is relatively easy once you've got into the game, you've got yourself a few level sixes, and you know the, the level of PvP is actually quite weak. Even somebody who is relatively new to the game perhaps somebody might have just maxed their first level six, let's say, should be getting into silver arena. Um, I'm gonna do a video over the weekend where I talk about lower level arena teams. I've done a couple on high-end arena teams. I'm gonna try and help those that are building towards this kind of mid-tier. And um, I'm gonna use somebody's account to do that who's in that kind of stage of the game. So hopefully you guys will be able to check that out. So yeah, so back to the, the Great Hall development page. Now, any any video that you see on Great Hall, they'll say, go into accuracy. Accuracy is the way forward. Um, and you know what, they're not wrong. But what they don't really tell you is why accuracy is the way forward. Um, so I'll come on to that shortly, but just, just want to kind of build this up. So if I was a level, you know, if I was early level in this game restarting, you'll start with a blue affinity champion. And actually those starter champions are pretty strong. So if you've got a Kale, uh, he's strong. Elthane is strong. Uh, pretty much all four actually. All four would be strong in arena. They'd be strong in campaign. 
and your everything you should be determined to do early game is to get yourself up to your first six star as soon as you've got a six star this game becomes way easier you can do all the content easier you start to blast through those missions easier and then you get good rewards for doing that and actually the game probably becomes a bit more enjoyable it's still it's a grindy game you know this, this type of game is going to be a grindy game but it becomes more enjoyable to do um, so I would start then as a level you know as a novice as a, a kind of beginner to the great hall by starting to build my blue affinity first because that's where my starter champion is and actually what I'd look to do is to make myself a bit stronger for the campaign so that I can nuke through those earlier levels easier and start to gain those rewards so the first couple I would do is attack and crit damage and then I would do HP and defense so those first four if you can get those up to level three relatively early you'll just be in, in a better stead so if you're at level three you're already gaining four percent more stats on your blue champions plus wherever you are in the arena so if you've got four percent plus I don't know let's say you got yourself to gold three you'd have another three percent so all of a sudden you start to do a bit more damage to those those um, mobs in the campaign so once you've got yourself that base you do then want to start to build accuracy accuracy is your biggest ally for clan boss so you then push this one to level three all of your resistances you'd leave at level zero to start with now as you then start to develop your game you'll start to pick up new champions and you'll start to form an arena team and a clan boss team for your early game so what you'll be looking at there is what color affinity champions have you got for those two main teams and they're the ones that you build so you, you build up initially you know who's going to be your campaign farmer it's probably going to be a blue a blue um, affinity champion but it, you may actually pull someone quite early and you may you know I pulled a skull crown really early so lucky and that meant that skull crown since probably the second week that I played this game has been my farmer for campaign and still is um, so for me very early I worked on my void affinity so it's all dependent on what champions you pull now if I then think about mid game and actually what you want to do is start to stack accuracy across the champions where you are going to use them most for clan boss and so I just want to go into the reason why accuracy is so important versus these other stats and I think that's what's perhaps missing from some of the videos that I've seen out on the uh, out on YouTube at the moment and it's all to do with the way the stats grow so if you see here HP percentage grows plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two really small increment growths pretty much runs the same for all of those first three stats so plus ones and plus twos uh, crit damage slightly better plus twos across the board um, resistance then goes up five 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 and then in tens and accuracy does the same as resistance now why that's important and why that should push you towards this end the accuracy and resistance end of this great hall if I look at a piece of equipment uh, I'll look at a piece of equipment that has not been upgraded yet uh, let's look at one that's got a number of different substats so this is a good one now if I go to upgrade any of these pieces if you see here resistance has a base level of 10 HP a base level of 7 crit damage a base level of 5 so if I get one upgrade in crit damage I can get a plus 5 or plus 6 addition which is the equivalent of three levels of the Great Hall if I get an upgrade in HP I could get plus 6 or plus 7 which is the equivalent of three to four levels of the Great Hall if I get a plus 10 in resistance it's the equivalent to one level of the Great Hall what that means is the the upgrades in resistance and accuracy are worth way more to you uh, and actually you can fill the other areas with gear much easier so these levels compared to gear scale much better and therefore that's why it's better to invest your time and your medals in this area of the great hall um, i'd say once you're past getting kind of level three everywhere 
So as long as you use champs in all these colors, I would say get level three across the board, except early on resistance. Then stack accuracy in the champs you use most for clan boss. Then I would probably push myself to level six for the kind of color affinity, which is most important to me. And then eventually come back to accuracy once you start to get to sort of mid to end game. Um, and actually where I am now, I kind of moved away from just building accuracy to build resistance because I realized late that this gives me much better um, bang for buck in terms of medals because I'm getting that plus 10 than building crit damage, which I can get much quicker in gear than I can in the Great Hall. I'm hoping that made sense. Um, it made sense in my brain. Uh, I'm hoping I've explained that well enough. The other thing to be aware of is the um, the Great Hall is part of your missions as you go through the, the game. So again, I showed this website, um, which is called Ayumi Love. And within that, it's actually, has a, there's a section of it, which is, uh, it's basically like a guide. Uh, and you can go into the Raid Shadow Legends progress missions list. And if you just look down the left-hand side here, you'll see different ones that are called Arena. Um, and as you progress through your different missions, you will see that you start to get missions which are about upgrading your Great Hall. So you've got one here. First one you come to is just upgrade one bonus and you get a bit of a reward. But you have to do that before you can progress to the next mission. And then as you go further through the game, um, you start to get specifics. So upgrade a Great Hall bonus to level four, uh, upgrade two to level four, um, and it goes right through to upgrade to level seven, I believe the next one is. Oh no, sorry, two to level six. Until you get right towards the, the sort of back end upgrade to level nine. Uh, and you will have to upgrade one of them to level 10 before you can go on and, and actually do the, the sort of final sets of rewards and get yourself an Arbiter. So keep that in mind. Um, what I did, I originally had a, a real void heavy uh, arena team and clan boss team early on. So as I, was, as I was building through the missions, I worked on crit damage for my void arena team and I worked on accuracy basically for my clan boss team. And they, those were the two that I kind of built up to level four first to get to that, that stage of mission. Then both of them to level six next. And then I went on one of them, which was my accuracy tree, to level eight, then nine, then 10 to clear out the rest of those missions. So if I explain, just, just on summary again, blue for your starter champion, probably up to around level two or three. Then start to work on two specific areas. So probably, if, if you haven't pulled great champs elsewhere, you'll go blue accuracy, blue crit damage, or blue um, defense to get those two, two to level four for your missions. The same two you choose, you continue with until you get them to level six. Um, and then you will want to invest your, your medals in building one of them up to level 10. And it might be that you can't do that straight away and you decide actually you're not progressing fast enough in the arena and you just start to even out some of these other ones so you get at least level three everywhere. Uh, it's probably easier to do that because actually it's much quicker, you know, 300 bronze medals versus um, trying to pull up 600 silvers is significantly different. And you can actually get bonuses right across the board if you went to level three early, um, but it does just delay yourself getting that kind of real high level, level eight, nine, ten. Uh, so it depends how quickly you're burning through those missions, really. So look, I hope that's been helpful. Um, hopefully it was a bit more informative than, than some of the, the videos that I'd seen before. And I hope actually what I was trying to say has come across clearly. Um, this is Hellhades. This is my YouTube channel, Addicted to Gaming. And uh, yeah, chat to you all soon.